Hey there, I'm Dave Roberts from Motu. Today I'm going to show you the DP Control app for Digital Performer version 7.2. I can run DP Control on my iPod Touch, my iPhone, or even my iPad. DP Control is an interactive control application that allows me to use Digital Performer without having to mess with a mouse or a keyboard. All I need is a wireless network to make it all happen. To run DP Control, I first set up a standard wireless connection for both my iPod Touch and my computer. Then, in DP 7.2, I go to the Setup menu and choose Control Surface Setup. I add a driver and choose Open Sound Control from the pop-up menu. Now I launch DP Control on my iPod Touch. The app looks on the local network for any copies of DP that are running with Open Sound Control enabled. My copy of DP shows up and I select it, ready to go. The first screen of the app shows me basic transport controls with large, clearly labeled buttons. Look at this. I can change between landscape view and portrait view. In portrait view, the iPod Touch is so easy to use as a handheld remote, I can operate it single-handedly with my thumb. Here are the basic transport controls. Stop, play, pause, record, return to zero, rewind, fast forward, metronome, go to previous marker, go to next marker, add marker. And check this out, when I add a marker, I can name it as well. The last button is undo. Not only can I undo, but I can step forward or backwards through the undo history. It's all labeled. DP Control uses standard page scrolling, and here's a second page of basic controls. I can enable count off, overdub, wait for note, memory cycle, auto record mode, auto rewind, and solo mode. I can set times based on current counter location. I can switch between takes or add or delete takes. If I have multiple audio tracks record enabled, all those takes will switch together. This is essential for something like multi-track drum recording. The last button is the all-important save. At the top of these pages, you also see the DP counter. I can change time formats from bars and beats to real time, simply frame time, number of samples, and even markers. Now this is really cool because the DP Control app is reading not only the location of my DP sequence, but also the marker names. Look how I can scroll through the markers to locate to all the important cue points in my sequence. The next set of pages in DP Control are for the track list. I can scroll through my tracks. I see the track names. I can see and use my track folders. I can record enable or play disable any tracks. If I press the blue button on the right of the track, I can create or delete new takes for that track only. The last set of pages in DP Control show me the mixer. Let's check this out on the iPad. I'll use landscape view to see the maximum number of tracks. I can then scroll through the mixer. I see the track names. I can control volume and pan. I see the volume values. Because of the interactive way DP Control works, I even see the level meters showing real-time playback. On my iPad, I can control multiple faders at the same time. The buttons at the bottom of the channel strips give me access to solo, mute, record enable, and all the automation functions. DP Control is just a great way to control a digital performer, live or in the studio. I'm Dave Roberts from Motu. Thanks for watching.